I just wanted to make a super quick video on the requirements you need a function to have to be able to take the Laplace transform of it. And basically there's two. The function has to be piecewise continuous. What does that mean? Well, it basically needs to be continuous except for jump discontinuities. So if your function looks like this and then it jumps, that's a discontinuity, but that's okay. We call that piecewise continuous because each piece is continuous by itself. The other requirement is that your function f of t has to be of exponential order. What does that mean? That means your function only grows as fast or slower as an exponential function. So something like n factorial, n factorial grows faster than exponential functions do. Just like n to the n, that grows much faster than exponential functions. So it would not be okay to take Laplace transforms of those functions. Okay, that's a quick video. It's just two quick facts that you need to know about the Laplace transform because you, before you can really use it and start understanding it. I don't know if they'll be on the test or not. Everything you do take the Laplace transform of will meet these requirements. So it's not a huge deal for your grade or anything, but it is something that you wanna keep in mind and know. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.